We saw Adrian for the first time in November and she had already received the diagnosis that the, the boys were conjoined. So she had had a, maybe a week or so to adjust to that news. And um, right away I was, I was struck by how sweet and, and strong she was. She was adjusting to the news and I thought was handling it very well. But of course, walking in, she had a lot of questions. We saw her uh, for t a good two months before she delivered, and there were many of those weeks that we were seeing twice a week. Uh, so we got to know her very well. Um, as we do with all of our patients, there were specialists that we wanted her to meet during her pregnancy to have a consultation with so that she could ask that expert the, the questions related to his specialty, his or her specialty. Um, and as we do with all patients, we try to balance that out with we want to get we want to get these um, the patients and the families and the specialists together, but not overwhelm them. Um, and of course, what was unique with um, Adrian not only that the boys were conjoined, but that each boy had some different problems. So we had a variety of specialists, and in looking back, she met with different specialist every single week for about a five week period. And I, th I thought she did that with such grace and strength. She was, um, she was excited and anxious, but hopeful. So we tried to really think through all the people that she would be meeting the first few weeks of their lives and, um, and have an opportunity to sit down with each of them and, and ask questions. Each of our moms has a baby with a problem, or two babies, as in her case. But at the same time, this is a mom going through a pregnancy, adding to her family. She had her two little boys at home. And so I try very hard not to just focus on the anomaly, but to focus on the family and truly make it family-centered care. Um, it was really an honor to be involved in her care. And as I said, we admired her strength. and. Um, and I was able to be there at delivery, and that, that was absolutely a privilege to be able to hold her hand, and I hope I was a comfort to her as a familiar face, and I really enjoyed following the boys, and that's one of the benefits of our patients being here, is that I have that wonderful opportunity for follow-up. I frequently visit babies in the NICU and the moms and have that opportunity to, to see how the whole family is doing.